name is Arturas. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about a project uh, of mine that I worked on and off uh, for the past few months, mostly because of my sub uh, fascination with the subject of uh, uh, news processing uh, and, and machine learning, uh, but but also uh, I also that and that I wanted to do it with KDB Plus. So. Uh, I, uh, I was frustrated with um, uh, Yahoo Finance News and with Google News whenever the headline comes out. I don't know how relevant it is, uh, less how mar what market impact is it going to have on my portfolios. So I thought it's a cool idea to create a tool uh, as a side project that would take as an input most recent headline, find on all the headlines in the past, and display market reaction to them. Uh, it sounds quite straightforward and, and, and simple. It's, uh, it's a bit different from uh, existing news uh, analytics that um, uh, expensive vendors like Bloomberg, like uh, Reuters, uh, Ravenpack, Clearforest do, which are based on uh, semantic uh, analytics, quite complex, very involved, uh, and they use um, uh, latest uh, machine learning tools uh, in natural language processing and things like word to vec uh, LSI, uh, latent Dirichlet allocation, all, all, uh, LTSM, all sorts of uh, in interesting technologies and uh, acronyms. And those are uh, very good as a default uh, measure of similarity between use that, that you would definitely need to display more similar news. But um, what I thought uh, to do is, um, uh, and, and oh, they also handle 90% of, of use cases, maybe, maybe even 99%. What, what I noticed uh, in extreme market conditions, there is always 1% of uh, events that outliers, uh, that always sort of not, uh, not presented in, anywhere. And I, I thought, how would you capture the, that knowledge? How would you capture those 1% of events? So I thought the, the interface should be pretty simple. It's uh, like a Google-like search bar and, all, and also should have advanced query interface for, for power users. But going back to my uh, uh, fascination with, with capturing knowledge and knowledge transfer. So I'm going to go a little bit on philosophical tangent here. So how is uh, ideas in general shared and we think uh, back a long time ago, our forefathers would sit in front of the fire and would exchange the ideas uh, of how to catch mammoth or how to fix uh, certain wounds or illnesses with certain herbs and what mushrooms not to eat. Uh, and that's why, so they say, that's why we value and respect our parents and seniors, but that was until, uh, uh, and it's also required to be in the place uh, in order to, to actually to hear the story. But then books were invented and written li literature uh, became abandoned. So now ideas became written by people. You don't have to be in the same physical place. You can actually be far away from the person who exposed that idea. So now the ideas are written uh, and read by, by people, not necessarily in the same room even. Uh, but then came uh, machine learning and uh, last uh, and this century where the idea is written as programs, but no reading actually is necessary because the thing computers can do it for you. So before you, you do have to know the written, uh, you do have to understand uh, the, the language, you have to read it. Now you just have to know how to open your uh, iPhone, iPad, you, don't even, you can just tell Siri what's the weather today. So you don't really need to to, to know, but you need to at least speak the language. And then there is a more fascinating dungeon is AI programs that could possibly, and we're not there yet, but could write ideas. No writing or reading skill uh, are required. You just basically think of something and it happens. So uh, going back from this uh, uh, philosophical uh, class, going back to the knowledge capture. So how do we capture this... Um, the knowledge of what is uh, uh, considered to be an interesting headline. So we, we do 
when something we cannot find in, in, in Google uh, or in, in any, uh, like a, a Lucene uh, or dedicated search engine, we, we start uh, utilizing different types of approaching, poking around, using some sort of a query language. The, the, the most exact example is a Google query language where we specify and, or, or not. So I, my idea was... Uh, this, this difficult mapping between the, the keywords of, uh, of a headline and the, the historical uh, keywords could be done as, a, as an exercise of capturing the query that's typed by a particular uh, expert, uh, whatever it is, and uh, the, then the mapping between the headline into the complex uh, um, historical headlines would be just a simple exercise of mapping uh, set of keywords in the headline to the to the query. Uh, and the, the examples here, uh, dollar age is higher after strong employment data, and there is a, some sort of a query language, any two off subset of the, uh, um, and I use Pythonic uh, interest, interface here, but this query language could be, for example, similar to, um, to any other script language, including Q, why not? That, project is still not there. I don't have this magical tool yet. I do have a, a technology stack that produces some interesting results. The results are sort of, they, they still uh, require some improvement. But what do I have? I have the database of new scripted uh, uh, and scrapped of, of the internet all five years from my other hobby project, uh, like about eight years ago. Then also I tried Boca Server, which is a Python uh, full stack uh, web-based server. KDB database with price volumes, uh, Python-based NLP, and s simple pluggable strategies uh, as Python scripts, kind of like what Quantopian does. Uh, and on top of that, there is a machine, very rudimentary machine learning uh, with simple caching of, of the results. In future, hopefully in a year time, I maybe would we'll, we'll be giving a, a presentation where the, that tool is going to be wonderfully uh, uh, working. We have pluggable corpus, we have, uh, uh, instead of HDB, I would use RDB and, and utilize KDB ML suite, and some sort of uh, uh, neat picking of, uh, and, and tuning of what headlines should be considered important or not, and um, uh, also using real-time market display. Let me try to demo something what, what I have. So here it's... Uh, a WebSocket based uh, interface where I basically plug uh, and I prepare it query and uh, after some time it uh, displays uh, the, the matching uh, new sorted by uh, what it considered to be relevant. There is no uh, prices or, or impact but if I start the process and read uh, q.q here. This should switch hopefully in a few seconds to uh, two prices. If it doesn't, that would be... Um, yeah, okay, so that, that, that switched uh, in some sort of return calculation. That was the first, first crack, but then I realized that it would be very, very difficult to, to get um, uh, to the more or less useful and um, uh, easy uh, API. So what I did, I switched uh, to Bokeh. I'm still going to leave the uh, data uh, queue process running that pulls the data. And now we'll switch to Bokeh server, which is basically replacing web, web, web sockets with uh, a, a little better uh, interface. So... So that's, uh, this displays uh, just some index from 2007 to 2008. I think it's a uh, S&P 500. Uh, and uh, the interface has uh, the, the simple, uh, the simple uh, Google-like interface, and then there is a search query. So when I uh, submit it, it goes in through the database that does, a, okay, that does an LP, it pulls the data from KDB server, um, yeah, using uh, t t typical uh, uh, HDB connection, and then um, creates uh, 
uh, search query interface that that power users uh, will uh, will will do. What I was hoping that there will be news events here designated as a vertical lines that would would indicate uh, market impact on the major major in indices. Right. So here, for example, you can change. I just put like free uh, simple strategy. There is a daily. Uh, 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 a strategy that ends up with uh, 24 hours. There is a weekly time horizon, and then there is a reversion strategy. Um, and uh, I have one minute left. So, and then there is a list of uh, of news. What most important thing is, uh, uh, there is a, a search query that you can actually modify here. And then next, it it will re remember, store it, and uh, will send it to very simple uh, uh, neural net that would remember it next time you're going to rerun that query. It's going to remember uh, uh, that a user actually made a tweak into the, uh, this power, uh, power user mode. Basically, no, no matter how, uh, how bad the result will be, it will converge to the, uh, to the much better result. So that's the simple demo on future developments in, in one year, as I said, I'll, I'll obviously speed it up, optimize it, and work on a better uh, similarity measure. And if anyone interested in uh, collaboration, you know, hit me up on, the, on this email, r.newsday.com. And uh, we have embedded PY. I found it it's quite powerful combination. You can combine uh, powerful uh, NLP in Python with power of PDB.